Hey, what is up dudes? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here to bring you a very interesting video. Today we are going to be testing out Laka OS, L-A-K-K-A OS, a retro gaming console operating system that works on pretty much any hardware you have lying around. Today we are going to be using the Azul Access Plus. Is Laka OS worth it and what can it do exactly? Well, let's talk about that. Alright guys, so before I get into this video, I want to thank Azul for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out all of their products in the link in the description down below if you're interested in purchasing a Azul product to replicate the setup that's shown in this video. If you are using an Azul product, keep in mind that altering the OS will void your warranty with Azul, so approach this with caution. First step to get your Laka box up and running is to download the installer from their website. They give you a simple install process where you can select between a pre-made installer for certain devices like Raspberry Pis, but for in this video we're going to be using the PC option and pretty much the main option for those who want to use older PC hardware or something like an Azul Access Plus. Next up, all you need to do is download and install this on a USB drive using a bootable USB creator like Rufus. Now that you have the bootable USB device, all you gotta do is slap the USB drive into your device of choice, go into your BIOS and select your device and boot to that USB drive, restart and you're good to go. A message on the screen will allow you to go to the install option after hitting tab. After hitting tab, you'll be asked to go to live mode or installer mode. Type in installer mode to install it or live mode if you just want to test it out off the USB drive. Once you do that, all you have to do is go through the basic install process. It's pretty similar to installing stuff like Windows and pretty much any other Linux distribution. So if you've done that before, you should be fine with installing this OS. It is fairly simple. So after all the install is done and everything is good to go, take out your USB drive and you are good to go. So now that you have the OS installed, what is next? Well, Laka OS comes with built-in emulators that allow you to play a majority of retro consoles. All you have to do is download some ROMs, which there are many sites to download ROMs from. In terms of ethics of ROMs, it is commonly preferred that you should own the physical copy of the ROM you are obtaining to be able to use said ROMs, but just approach this method with your own ethical standards. You can get ROMs in two ways onto your LACA device. You can have your LACA device connected to your PC on your network where you can just drag and drop files from your network directory on your PC into the ROM folder, or you can just load up some ROMs on a USB drive and load them off the drive onto the LACA device manually which is a method I went with and found to be much simpler. So overall, after installing everything and setting it up, which was a process that took only roughly an hour, I was very impressed. Having an OS for people who just love playing ROMs like myself and have a ton of preloaded emulators and an easy way to actually add more ROMs makes it a great option for those retro game lovers. Especially on something like an Azul Plus that is very portable and allows you to have a portable retro gaming console that can be plugged into any TV via HDMI and plugged up with pretty much any controller you wish via USB, which they actually have built in mapping for said controllers already on the operating system. It's a really cool setup. I can definitely see myself using this a lot as a game console in a living room for those gaming nights with friends on retro games. I highly recommend you give it a shot, even on some older hardware that you might just have laying around. Might as well put it to some good use. That about wraps things up here guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and subscribe for more content from the Toasty Bros. If you want to see more operating system videos like this, be sure to leave a comment down below with your suggestion. I will be more than glad to test it out. Hope to see you on the next one guys. Peace out.